Welcome to the Team 20 closing ceremony for the 2021 season. This year has been kind of crazy with being entirely virtual and dealing with the pandemic, but we did it. We're excited to share everything we've accomplished and to introduce our new co-captains. But first, we're going to let Aria take it away with a couple highlights. Hello, and welcome to the Team 20 2020-21 end of year ceremony. We will be taking a look at what our team was able to accomplish this season through some videos from our at home challenge, game design challenge, and innovation challenge teams. We will then take a closer look at our freshman program and awards and outreach. We will be treated to some presentations from each of our subgroups, and we will recognize our mentors, students, superlatives, and seniors. Then we will induct your 2021 22 co captains. And after the recognition of individual sponsors, we'll have the moment everyone's ready for the t-shirt raffle. So, without further ado, take it away, Carter and Dom. Welcome to Team 20's First Robotics Game Design Challenge, Culinary Chaos. In this game, two alliances of cooking robots compete to see who can finish the most recipes before closing time. Robots must complete recipes by scoring cooked or uncooked ingredients. There are five ingredients, bread, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and protein. All ingredients except bread can be cooked. Each team will see the current recipe on their culinary station. To score recipes, teams must place ingredients into the culinary station and spin it around to score the points. If all ingredients in a recipe are scored, a multiplier bonus is applied to each ingredient in the recipe. If they are scored in the correct order, an additional 5 points will be awarded. Before any multiplier, uncooked ingredients scored are worth 1 point, while cooked ingredients are worth 3. Teams cannot cook ingredients until they preheat the oven and the teleoperative period has begun. Robots begin each match by preloading up to 3 ingredients. More ingredients can be found by using dispensers along the fridge in the center of the field. During the first 20 seconds of the match, robots are autonomous. They must complete tasks such as crossing the initiation line, 
pressing a switch to preheat the oven, and raising the open sign. They can also score ingredients into the culinary station to finish recipes. Ingredients can be picked up from dispensers located in the fridge. Human players can help by sliding ingredients out to the robots to restock the dispensers. Ingredients are returned to the human players in the fridge after they are scored by a rail that run from the culinary station to the fridge. Ingredients can be cooked by shooting them into the preparation station on the opposite side of the field. Once shot, a human player will exchange it for a cooked ingredient that is then returned to the field. During the last 30 seconds of the match, the game enters closing time. During this period, alliances can continue to score, but also must lower the sign and recharge by climbing or park for the night. Ranking points will be awarded if a team completes six recipes or if all three teams in the alliance cross the initiation line during auto, the sign is raised during auto, and the sign is lowered during closing time. I hope you've enjoyed our game, Culinary Chaos. Hi, we're Team 20, and we're here today to talk to you about the eye roll. In 2018, I was stuck in a wheelchair all the time. I had tried using a Samsung smartwatch as a fitness tracker, but it wasn't tracking the same amounts of work as my muscles were telling me I had done, which was very discouraging. And Eric's not alone. A majority of the 3 million wheelchair users nationwide fail to meet daily fitness activity guidelines. Our solution? The eye roll a revolutionary fitness tracking glove with integrated force sensors, specially designed for wheelchair users that will allow them to set and accurately track their fitness goals through an app interface. Our customer base consists of wheelchair users, users of all lifestyles. Athletes are able to gather fitness data and less active users can receive the fitness motivation they need to stay healthy, all at an easily accessible price point. Competitors like the Apple Watch and Fitbit are ineffective due to their high cost and inaccuracy. Other specialized products like the Smart Wheel target clinical studies and are therefore inaccessible to casual users. Our value proposition is to mitigate these issues. Iroll is more affordable and accurate than anything on the market. It runs mainly on a website, thus ensuring a reoccurring and growing customer base and revenue stream. Our low overhead costs lie primarily in product manufacturing and web hosting, but will be reimbursed fully thanks to a subscription-based revenue model where users can buy replaceable custom gloves as they wear out. To date, we've developed and tested a prototype of the eye roll. We've also created initial versions of both an app and a website interface and reached out to Paralympians for feedback and guidance, all of which was very positive. But we'd like to go even further. The eye roll has the potential to revolutionize fitness for wheelchair users. We're here today seeking to gain connections to people to help commercialize and further test the eye roll and even look into emerging technologies that can be incorporated into the eye roll. So no matter how you roll, let's get the ball rolling with the eye roll. This is the future of fitness tracking for wheelchair users. Are you ready to roll with us? This is Madame Dolesmith the Gonk Droid, or MDGD for short. MDGD has a West Coast drivetrain. This drivetrain is simple to build and drive, it's reliable, and it's agile. This year we've made a number of improvements to the bot. One of them is our improved shooting system. For greater aiming flexibility, we use snowblower motors to allow us to position the shooter at various different angles. This allowed us to better adjust based on how far away our target was. Another project we've worked on was the pneumatic control to our intake system. 
We use this to raise and lower our intake subsystem depending on the space requirements of the robot. Finally, we have our ball path, which guides the power cells from the intake subsystem to the shooter. This year's bot took great time and effort to get to where we are. We've all worked hard to bring our programming, CAD design, electrical, and mechanical work together. And the result was MDGD. We've all had so much fun this year, and we can't wait for next season. Thanks for watching. This year, although Outreach wasn't able to do our typical activities, we were thrilled to be able to put on a food drive in December, collecting over 80 pounds of food from everyone on the team, all of which went to benefit Captain Community Human Services. We were also excited to collaborate with Science National Honor Society, with students creating virtual booths in lieu of the activities we typically put on at Science and Health Discovery Night. Outreach also worked on team building activities this year, strengthening the sense of community found on the team. While awards, like everything else, looked slightly different this year, we were still able to put together and present a lot of the efforts we've made as a team in spreading the first message. As usual, awards wrote and submitted our essay and executive summary for the Chairman's Award, although without the typical video component. We also put together a Chairman's presentation for judges with a Q&A session. We're glad to have been able to still pay tribute to the great work we've done as a team. Of course, awards also has the very special job of overseeing the nomination for our team's Woody Flowers Award nominee. We asked all of you to share your thoughts on who to nominate, and as I'm sure everyone knows, we nominated our very own Mr. Myers for this prestigious award. Anyone who's been to even a single team meeting knows not only how much he puts into the team, but also how much of a positive influence those efforts have had. Just imagine clicking between 10 different tabs of Google Meets running at the same time, and that's not to mention the countless other things that he does for our subteams, challenge groups, and team as a whole. Given our immense appreciation for Mr. Myers, we're proud to present him with the Krista McAuliffe coin. The coin offers McAuliffe, a teacher who tragically lost her life on the Challenger shuttle. To quote first, her legacy is a powerful reminder of the incredible impact teachers have on students and therefore the future. Mr. Myers is the true embodiment of this impact. From all of us on the team, thank you for everything you do. This year, the business subteam works to secure grants and funding for Team 20. Our members learned about marketing the team and business in general. We also helped out innovation with the preparation of their business plan for their eye roll. Here's a little brochure we made to list reasons why a company would want to sponsor Team 20. And here's a letter that we wrote to Global Foundries thanking them for their generous grant of $5,000. Despite all the challenges this year brought, the design subteam still managed to do a lot of cool and interesting things. During the fall off season, we adapted to a new online learning format and created CAD keychains and CAD Christmas ornaments in order to find a fun way to help teach CAD. During the regular season, our past robot model was super important to the at-home group and to certain awards, and we created a full model of the game design challenge field. This shows just how much the design subteam did despite all the difficulties we faced. Team 20 on the beat. At Team 20, we really care. Here's some tips we'd like to share. Put on glasses, roll your sleeves, but mental health is also a key. We can all be opined. Everyone's respectful, nice, and kind. We take breaks, when on the grind, it's important to unwind. Failure, we see success, the results might impress. When we work as a team, we are living the dream. Wear your mask. Do your task. When it comes to safety, we kindly ask. Make being unsafe a thing of the past. To wrap up, we should say safety is important every day. Safety is a lifestyle we must choose, win or lose, aim to improve. Our safety jingle is full of groove. Hi, my name is Arya and I'm going to be going over our programming. 
So we started out the year with a new learning system, which used a split tier model. So we had a beginner tier, a intermediate tier, and a, an advanced tier. And we taught the first two tiers Java, so they could code their robot. And we went on full projects with the advanced tier. Moving into the build season, we worked with Infinite Recharge at home on multiple projects on the robot, including the LiDAR system, which is how the robot can see using bouncing light, a pixie cam, which is how the robot can detect objects using a camera mounted to an Arduino, a line light, which is how our robot can detect reflective tape, LEDs um, for light and uh, autonomous code. Hi, I'm Grace, and this is what imagery has done over the past year. All right, so first of all, we did a lot of logo drafting uh, for things like apparel, social media, um, things of that manner, as well as drafting designs for a possible mascot um, and the yearbook picture. And then over the challenges, we kind of uh, divided and conquered, working on things like the infographics. Uh, here we have the innovation infographic as well as the at-home one, um, logo design and other development, things like that. So all in all, great year, and I look forward to what's, for what's to come. Wow, we really did an amazing job this year. Yeah, we did great. Um, innovation team got semi-finalists and everyone else did an amazing job. And we couldn't have done it without our mentors. Without their amazing support, Team 20 couldn't be where it is today. A special thanks to Ms. Mr. Myers and Mrs. Barra for all the work behind the scenes to make the team run especially well this year. I feel like we've been in the car for too long. Yeah, you just missed the turn. Oh shoot, where was, where was I going anyway? I'm not gonna tell you flat out gonna have to guess. Okay. All right, I'll give you some clues. This, this co-captain is a left-handed baker who likes green. They've been on the team for three years and their favorite dessert is strawberry rhubarb pie. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll, we'll leave it up to the audience to guess while Mr. Wilds does student superlatives. This year, we expanded our end-of-year awards to include nominations by and of mentors and additional awards to recognize the many different ways that our outstanding students and mentors contribute to the success of our team. Congratulations to all the winners. This award recognizes a very involved and dedicated freshman nominated by both students and mentors for her strong contributions to all the groups she joined. Ian has won this award hands down three years in a row. We may just have to rename it going forward. This group of highly dedicated students are at almost every meeting, always willing to help. Their work doesn't get a lot of recognition, but without them, we would not be successful.
Ian created multiple aspects of the feed mule, helped in every stage of the design creative process, created demo robots, and helped create animations for the game design video. Andy was often the first to arrive and the last to leave at each of our meetings. He made himself the grease on the gears that kept the virtual meetings and the Saturday drive sessions productive. He thought constantly about the needs of the team and how he could best provide support in each and every moment. definitely did. Uh, where were we going? Uh, well, we were going to a co-captain's house who likes the color blue, has been on the team for three years, has speed run, has a speedrun world record on an NES game, and really likes lemurs. Ugh. Well, while I figure out where to turn next, Mrs. Barra can talk about um, senior recognition. All right. Congratulations, Class of 2021, Team 20 Seniors. In just a few short weeks, you will be crossing the stage at commencement. You will be graduating with a skill set like no other class before you. You are resilient flexible, self-directed learners, and tech-savvy leaders. You have made a positive impact on the team, Shenandoah schools, and the FIRST Robotics community. As new members of the ever-growing ranks of FIRST alumni, you are well prepared for whatever challenges lie ahead and your future is so bright. Please continue to make a positive impact and inspire others as first mentors and or first volunteers. And remember, wherever your path may be, you will always be a rocket what? A rocketeer. Turkey. You know what turkeys remind me of? Turkey! You know, turkeys are kind of like chickens. Turkeys are kind of like chickens. Speaking of, one of our co-captains has chickens, likes the color orange, doing puzzle cubes, and mantis shrimp. She takes care of chickens and collects their eggs every day. I wonder who it could be. On behalf of the Team 20 students, mentors, and coaches, I'd like to extend our sincere gratitude to our sponsors. Without your generosity and continued belief in the power of our program, Team 20 could not exist. It's because of you that a new generation of thinkers, doers, and innovators can learn the skills that will change the world. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for your support. I'm really bored. Okay, well, guess 
the next co-captain. All right. So this one really likes to ski. Their favorite color is light blue. They're scuba certified. Their favorite animal is cat. And they've been on the team for only two years. I really don't know. Well, you'll just have to wait until we get there. Team 20 just wouldn't be the same without the help of our fantastic mentors. Even in the midst of a global pandemic, these go-to guys and gals were ready to step up and ensure that the Rocketeers got the most out of the season. From giving up their free time to be with us in virtual meetings, to developing new and innovative remote training programs for the preseason, to providing expert guidance and advice throughout the many difficult challenges our team worked through all year. Mentors, thank you so much for all the time and hard work you invested in the team. You made it possible for us all to survive and thrive during this particularly difficult season. Ugh, going up such a tall hill, I hope the truck can make it. The truck may not be able to, but you know who can? Our next co-captain. They have skateboarded down a hill at 25 miles per hour, like the Venezuelan poodle moth, and, of course, skateboarding. Favorite color, olive green, been on the team for two years. I wonder who it's gonna be. I have no clue. Team 20 inspires others so that we might someday change our culture into one that celebrates science and technology's leaders in the same way we celebrate athletes and musical artists. The second core value is inclusion. Team 20 strives to invite all to our space and into our community. Next is integrity. This is doing the right thing while no one's looking and spreading the messages at first, in addition to building world-class robots. Team 20 exemplifies this and remains humble through community events, assisting other teams, and honest competition. The final core value is improvement. Improvement is constantly striving to, striving to improve on a former progress in either failure or excellence. Do you promise to uphold these core values? Yes, I do. I proudly present your 2021-2022 co-captains. There you go. There you go. This concludes the pre-recorded section of our end of year ceremony. I hope you enjoyed recalling everything that happened throughout this crazy year. From online meetings to social distancing, our team came through. From teaching electronics and mechanics in an online format with kits and simulators, our team came through. From tier programming lessons to CADMUS trees and other subgroup challenges, our team came through. From safety animations to an outreach food drive, our team came through. From chairman's and Woody Flowers submissions to sponsor brochures and thank you letters, our team came through. From new vision systems to remotely driving a freshman robot through a Google Meet, our team came through. Not to mention our team launched into all three Game Changers challenges and rocketed to the finish line. I want to thank you all for your inspiration, your integrity, your inclusiveness, and your dedication to improvement. And most of all, I want to thank you for letting us all be a part of it with you.